After the passing of the Prophet So in the, in the Battle of Jamal When Aisha and Imam Ali go to war Who do we follow? Good question Before we get to Jamal, Sifin, Karbala And other battles We need to first establish Who are the Ahlul Bayt Okay Once we establish who the Ahlul Bayt are Everything will become clear The Shias are insisting that uh, the wives are not the Ahlul Bayt. The Ahlul Bayt are Ali, Fatima, Radiallahu Anhum, Anhuma, Alayhi Salam, Alayhi Salam. We have no, I mean, we also say Alayhi Salam. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing. We say, we, we, I say, Assalamu Alaikum to you. I'm saying that to you. Alayka Salam. If I say Alayka. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, and, and amazingly, even that wording comes from the Quran. And. When you read the wording of Durud, what we call Durud, yeah? Durud Sharif, yeah. Durud Ibrahimi, we call it, yeah? Okay. The wording comes from Surah Hud. It comes from Surah Hud. And even there, when it says Al, Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala Ali Ibrahim kama sallayta as you yeah, sent blessings upon Ibrahim and his Al. So where is the question? Where did Allah send any blessings upon the Al of Ibrahim? Surah Hud. And which Al? Wife. So even Durud, when it mentions the term Al, it means the wives. Because the Durud itself makes a reference to the Quran. It says, Kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala Ali Ibrahim. So this, this is a reference to Surah Hud, verse 73. Okay, so this is clear. Even the Durud, it definitely includes the wives of the Prophet Sallallahu and then anyone else. So wives are beyond anyone else. How do I know that? How do I know that? The wives of the Prophet Sallallahu are even more important than Ali bin Abi Talib radiallahu anhu. I'll explain to you why. In Islam, who has higher status? The mother or the son? Mother. The mother. You agree? The mother. Okay. Now, in Islam, who has higher status? A biological mother or someone Allah calls your mother? Someone who Allah calls your mother. Perfect. We're getting there now. Okay. Now, Ali bin Abi Talib, radiallahu an, alayhi salam, is Amir al Yes. The best of believers. The best of believers. No, no doubt in that. The best of believers. But he's still a believer. Is al mu'min. We we believe he's he is a mu'min. Al mu'min, right? Al mu'min is of course Allah. Uh, but we, we when when we say al mu'min in the sense that he is the believer in his excellence, right? Right. Now, the Quran says, "Audhu billahi min shaitan rajim an nabiyu awla bil mu'minin min anfusihim." The Prophet is beyond the believers than themselves. Wa azwajuhu. Ummahatuhum, and his wives are their mothers. If you are a believer, then the wives of the Prophet Sallallahu are your mothers. So Allah is calling the wives of the Prophet the mothers of believers. So they are more important than biological mothers. Yeah, but that's more of a fiki matter. Because <laughs> what are you talking, said, what are you said talking time, about, man? Yeah, someone said at that time. Have you studied? When Muhammad, look. Okay, wait, wait. Not like you, not on your level. Okay, how old are you? How old are you? 22. I'm 44. I know, I know. I'm twice your age. Yes, yes, yes. I'm okay, you're 22. You were born in 1998. 99. 99. I started studying in 2000. Okay, so I've been studying for 20 years. Of course. So, so this conversation has to be in that spirit. I'm not being arrogant. I'm no, not no, trying no, to okay, claim no, authority no. over no, you. No. But, but I want you to understand something. A lot of things, a lot of the things you will bring up, okay, yeah. I've already addressed them okay. many times, I've discussed them uh, plenty of times. What I request from you is to ask me questions and I will answer you. Don't try to debate me because, okay, that's fine. because the debate will take us okay. in a very long conversation. Okay, that's fine. And I'll it's, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so if you ask me questions, I will ask you, I'll tell you why I believe in what I believe in, why I insist on including okay. the wives okay, in the Ahlul fine. Bayt and not the... So, so uncle, yeah? In um, Surah Tahrim, yeah? So obviously we, you believe the purified household also includes the wives, yeah? Yeah. Right. So... Um, You're asking a question now, yeah? I'm asking a question, yeah? yeah? Thank you. So, 
I, I, per, I believe, this relates back to my question, yeah? I believe that we should judge individuals based upon their character and their accolades and their merits, not based upon who they're related to. I agree. Am I right or wrong? Hmm. Now, if you read Surah Tahrim, where one of the wives of the Prophet was told a secret, and then she was told not to reveal it to anyone, and she revealed it to someone, okay. and then Allah revealed Surah Tahrim. Good. And now, if they also cured in the purified household, hmm. Then why did Allah send a warning to them, warning them that they could end up like the wives of Lut alayhi salam and Lut alayhi salam? Do you know Allah warned the Prophet, uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi salam in the Quran? Okay, but no, but wait, Aisha wait, and Hafsa actually went wait, against the Prophet. Wait, wait, wait. And revealed one of his secrets wait, wait, in the wait, Quran, Surah Takhrim. Do you know Allah warned the Prophet in the Quran? Yeah. A number of times. Okay. Yeah. So does that mean Allah, the Prophet went against Allah? Okay, but where did he do it? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 it doesn't. Wait. It doesn't. It doesn't. Why not? Because he didn't do nothing against Allah. So I say the same thing about uh, the wives. But it says in Surah Tahrim, I can show you one. It says in, in the Quran that the Prophet وسلم, was corrected by Allah, warned by Allah, warned a number of times, about a number of about times. About so if you use, if you use this argument that because Surah Tahrim is warning the wives of the Prophet وسلم, two of them in particular, I know, I know this. Trust me, I, I know. Yeah, but why is he warning them? Why is he warning them? Because they disclose why is, the secrets. Okay, I'm asking, why is Allah warning the Prophet? Has the Prophet done anything against Allah? They have clearly done something I, I, against I, Allah. No, no, I agree. We are agreeing now. Likewise, the wives, when they are being uh, rebuked yes. by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, let's use so the why word rebuke. Rebuked? Why? Yeah, because, because they are humans. No, I shall have some. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, brother, wait, wait. Okay, go on, go on. The Prophet Sallallahu when he was warned, yes. do you think he was... Go when do you get warning? When do you get warning? Wait, wait. When are you warned? Uncle, can you give me an example of where the Prophet was uh, warned? Just give few, me few times. Few times. For example, the captives of Badr. Okay. The no. captives of Badr. Wait, wait. A very severe warning. A very severe warning. Don't kill them or harm okay. them. No, no, no. It is not befitting for a Prophet of Allah to take prisoners. Okay. So Allah is actually correcting the Prophet Sallallahu Allah is correcting the Prophet So does this mean the Prophet went against Allah? No, absolutely not. The Prophet would never do that. The Prophet he did made a judgment and Allah corrected him. Likewise, Hafsa and Aisha radiallahu anhuma, both of them, they were wives of the Prophet. They were in love with the Prophet. How do we know this? Because the Prophet died in one of her arms. Died. Having received Surah Al-Tahreem, who would understand this surah more? You, me, or the Prophet? The Prophet. The Prophet. Good, good. We are agreeing now. So the Prophet has received Surah Al Tahrim. And if his understanding was the Shia understanding, yeah, then he would rebuke Aisha, he would throw her away, he would divorce her, and he would say, This is a woman who has been condemned by Allah in the Quran. But no, what does he do? When he's dying, he goes to her house in particular and chooses to die in that's her arm. That's, that's no, 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 no. That's archaeology, brother. You know where the, where the prophet is buried? You don't have a choice that's you're buried. No, no, no. <laughs> How can you? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. You cannot, you cannot go against archaeology. Archaeology is you can see something, is okay, there? Rasool okay, Rasool Allah wait, is wait. Who, who no, 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 wait. I mean, that's a discussion. No, no, no. You, you're jumping, you're yeah, hopping. Go on, go you're on. Hopping. Let's get a stick on this topic. Stick to the topic. So you, you read Surah Tahrim. And I'm giving you reasons why your understanding is flawed. Okay. And if those Shia who believe in this, they are completely misguided and they have chosen to hate people they shouldn't hate. Rather, they should love them. It's part of your Iman to love we them because, because... We don't hate anyone. It's the Quran no, no, the one. We don't hate anyone. We just disagree. You don't hate people no, who... No, because it shows you someone's we, character. We disagree with certain no, we're yeah. just we speaking about anyone. characters. We don't hate anyone. We're just, we're no, just speaking about... The you don't hate, you don't curse. No, hate. You don't no, hate, you don't curse. Tabara, Tabara, maybe. Okay. Tabara, right? Where you disassociate, Tabara, I don't take from Tabara. them. Tabara, yeah? Mm -hmm. We don't take from them. You don't do it. We don't take from them, but now... Allahu a minute. You get me? So, but so, I know who to take from, who not so to take my, from. So my question now is... My question is... Yes. The Prophet Wasallam is buried right now, as we speak today, when you go to Medina to his mosque, he's buried at a spot, in a spot, in, an, in, in, a, in, in the room of Aisha. Okay. And we cannot say the house of Aisha, because a house is large, uh, large, uh, <laughs> so Aisha is, but uh, she had a room, literally a small room she lived in. So you can't even say, no, 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 he wasn't here, he wasn't there, he wasn't there. He was there in that room 
He died there. How do we know that? Because that's where he was buried. Okay. So they lit literally lifted the bed. They lifted the bed and they dug the grave of the Prophet at the very spot where he died وسلم, and buried him there. What was he doing in the house of Aisha? If he believed in the same uh, view of Surah Al-Tahreem, he knows, let's assume the Shias believe that Surah Al-Tahreem is condemning two women, Hafsa and Aisha, yeah, and they stand condemned. They stand con condemned by Allah. That's it, you're finished. You know the surah. Allah condemned Abu Lahab. It's finished. It's finished. No hope for Abu Lahab. It's gone. Likewise, the Shia, they believe Hafsa and Aisha are condemned by the Quran. Right? They do. I don't believe that. Okay. You don't believe that? Okay then. All I believe is, yeah. is obviously she's the, the wives of the Prophet. But she made a mistake in the battle of the, of the camel. The we, of we, we agree. We agree. Look, we agree. Yeah, yeah. Then you're not Shia. So you stay out of this. You, you, you stay you out Shia? of this. Do you believe in the 12 Imams of Ahlul Bayt? I do, bro, yeah. Of course, you believe in Muhammad okay. Ali okay. the right for success of Rasulullah. So Muhammad, you're Shia. Do, do you, you're Shia at the early, bro. No, no. Then, then, you, you then can't, wait, wait. You can't say someone's Shia. Do you, do you, I don't hate certain okay. people. No, no, no. Do you, okay, you believe in 12 Imams? 12 Imams, yeah? Who chose them? Alayhi Who Allah, chose them? Allah Azza wa Jalla. Prove it. They're, they're Allah chose them. Prove it. Allah chooses they're, they're Prove it. So, so I, I want to. Do you want? Do you think I want to die a kafir? Do you want? Do you think I want to die disbelieving? Okay, who, chose, who, who chose the twelve tribes of Israel? Musa alayhi salam, right? The twelve tribes no, of Israel. No, no, no. They, they were chosen by Allah because of the Quran says Musa they were chosen by Allah. Through Musa alayhi salam. No, no. Because we only understand God through the wasila of a prophet. Yeah. So you have to have statements where Allah says, "I have chosen," or the prophet says, "I have chosen Ali, Hassan." Hussein, okay. wait, 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 yeah, wait. Zainul Abidin, Muhammad Abbas, Muhammad Jafar Sadiq, Jafar Sadiq, Musa, Musa, Musa Ali Reza, Muhammad Jabbar, yeah, give me that Ali list. Hadi, you, you, you're, you're claiming. As Sahib as Saman wa Ajm, Farajum, Alayhi Salam. Allah Hu Salli Alaihi Wasallam. So look, look. I, if I claim that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is my Imam, he's my Prophet, yeah, and he's chosen by Allah, you're gonna ask me, where's your evidence? Yeah. I'm gonna say, yeah. I'm gonna say, Muhammad Rasulullah waladina ma'ahu ashiddahu ala al kuffari wa rahmabe. Allah calls him Rasulullah. Allah uses his name Muhammad, and Allah calls him Rasulullah. So that's my evidence. You say Allah chose those twelve imams. You now give me the names and the statements of Allah where Allah chose them, or that. even the Prophet. Oh, now you 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 seem to be backtracking on no, everything you no, okay. All I'm saying is that they're from the the line of the Prophet. Believe my brother in the hadith. Who who, dis, who disagrees with that? In the hadith of the twelve successors, the Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "I leave behind twelve successors from my ummah. The first will rule after my death. The last one is still." But where are the names? Yes. The, twelve successors. Is see, is the, had, in this hadith? the hadith says absolutely it says Khulafa, twelve Khulafa. It uses the term Khulafa. Okay, no, no, wait, wait. Wait. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. This is a good question. You want to address that question? Let's, so let's not hop from topic to topic. Okay, Surah Al Tahrim. Let, let us deal with that first. Okay, okay, now. So if. No, no, we have. Re we know. I, I've already confirmed, acknowledged. Yeah, yeah. This, what, what, what difference is it going to make when we know the argument? The argument is you, the bottom line is you believe that. The, the two wives of the Prophet ﷺ stand condemned by the Quran. Yes or no? Yes Allah or no? Wounds them. Allah wounds them. Are they condemned in the Quran? Can I read this? Can no, I read no, no. this? Just say one verse. Wait, before you read, put your thesis forward and then you can give us the evidence. What's your thesis? Okay. I, I don't believe Do, they were condemned, I believe they were wounned. By Allah, we do agree. not deviate. Shake, don't deviate. Yeah, Allah warned them. We shake hands on that. The Allah warned them. The Allah warned them. No, and he, Allah, just like Allah examples, warned the Prophet. In verse 10, yeah. no, then he gave them examples of the wives of Lut, salam, the wives of Nuh, salam, say just because your wives are the Prophet doesn't so, mean that we can say So you Allah is warning them. It comes down to Allah is warning them to be. But in depth, uh, warn an entire surah just to warn them. Yeah. Entire Good. Surah. Good. So Allah warns the wives of the Prophet. Salam, to be upright, to be brilliant, to be all those things, right? Uh, now, the question is, the question is, are they condemned? Look, they wound, uncle, they wound, yeah? So we know now because... Listen, they... when we agree on something, don't repeat it. Now, of course... I'm asking a question, are they condemned? 
not from them, no. No, no, I'm, I'm asking him. Wait, wait. You're clearly not for this year. At this moment wait. in time, wait. Wait. when the yeah, suit up, when the suit up. When the suit up. Honestly, it's a statement. I mean, it's, it's good to laugh. I'm just saying, laughing doesn't mean it's funny. You can laugh when you're serious as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, yeah. No, we're not mocking you. We're not mocking you. This, this is a very brotherly, friendly discussion. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the moment. There's no hostility here. No, no, no. In the moment in time, where the suit has been revealed, mm. no, they're not condemned, but they have been warned. Like, do not Brother, like why do you keep saying? No, Uncle, I'm saying, look, afterwards, the actions of Aisha after. Okay, they, they have been the warned. House, they have been warned. They have been warned, so they have the Prophet. So now what? Now what? What's the point? The Prophet has been warned. The wives of the Prophet have been warned. Okay, the, the believers have been warned. Okay, the, the, the believers, wait, wait, wait. The believers in the Quran in multiple places, multiple yes, places, they've been warned. The Quran is full of warnings against believers and disbelievers. Okay. So now, from these warnings, what are you trying to deduce? Okay. What is your deduction? Because Aisha did not take the warning seriously. And she became came, what? Condemned? Allahu a minute. No, yeah. what, what, when you went Allahu Okay, wa when, she went, when she went to uh, Jamal and she went and fought Imam Ali I, I, I agree that was a mistake. That was a but, mistake. But what, what's your... How can I follow so, her? What, no, no, I follow no, no, her? you can still follow her because the Prophet ﷺ gave her the honor of dying in her arms. The last place of the Prophet's, the last resting place the last resting place for the Messenger of Allah. If anyone did my father a favor, if if I knew my father was thirsty in a desert somewhere and an old man, a Bedouin came and gave him a glass of water, okay. right? I would be thankful to that Bedouin yeah, for the rest of my life. Of okay, course. I will do anything for because he'd saved my father's life. If anyone gave comfort to my father, my father. So Rasulullah I can sacrifice my father a thousand times over the Prophet right? So if if a person is giving him comfort, he is in her arms. And if he has the same view as this brother, that she is, she is, she is not to be followed. Let's say, let's use soft terminology, right? She's not to be followed. She's not a good woman. She is, a, uh, she is uh, warned by Allah. She is a uh, question, yeah, question mark, Allah well, alam. And he still, he is still, his head is in, is on her chest, yeah. and she is holding him in her arms, and he says his last words in her arm. What does that tell you? What is wrong with the Shias? Okay, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'm okay, trying to reach question. out to my Shia brothers and sisters around the world. What is wrong with you people? <laughs> what is wrong with you people? How can you I'm even okay. think uh, some, I mean, you guys, when it comes to your own families, your uncles, your aunties, your fathers, when someone does them a favor, or when they choose someone uh, to be with someone, you have respect for them. You have honor for them. But the messenger of Allah chooses to be with Aisha in her arms, and yet, you're not willing to forgive her? And the uncle, Messenger of Allah uncle, didn't have the view? Wait, uncle, uncle. He didn't have that view? Yeah. Uncle, listen, yeah? yeah. Sorry, I'm fasting. I lost my train. If you no want, problem. can I just quickly say one thing? Because I'm going to die. Go on, brother, go on. Yeah. 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 Palestine's killing everyone. Yeah. Go on, Lucky. Like, yeah. um, Prophet Muhammad says, okay. correct me if I'm mistaken, warned of this. And simply, okay. Ali al but it, but it didn't end like that. That's all I'm it didn't I, I know, 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 Alhamdulillah, no, you're right, you're well, right, you're right. You're, you're, so you're 22? Yeah. You really, are you really serious about Islam or you feel attached to your school of thought and you like, you enjoy the gatherings, the Husseiniyat no, 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 and no, no, all no, the Majalis? No, 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 my father is a Sunni, my mother is a Shia. Okay. So, look. Okay, but, but now, 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 now. Iraq. Okay, okay, now my question is, do you want to follow the emotions of your mother? No, no, or the like or, 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 huck or, huck. or okay, huck, huck is huck. Huck absolutely. Is huck. Now, huck now, good, huck. good, good, okay. good. Do you think I have studied Shia books carefully? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, okay. I assume you have. Okay, I have. You trust have. me. Yeah, okay. Do you think I want to go to hellfire deliberately? No, 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 of course, of course okay, not. no, I don't want to go to hellfire, knowing well that I am wrong. Okay, if I if if I feel if I believe that I'm wrong and I still continue to believe in that, do you think I want to go to hellfire? No, absolutely not. Okay, why why am I even fasting? Why am I even of praying? Course, why course. am I even praying? For the pressure of Allah. For the pressure of Allah. Thank you. So, for, for if I believed even 10% of the Shia school okay. was correct, okay. even 10%, okay, okay, it would be. But I believe the entire theology. The entire Shia theology is corrupted. Uh, it's not corrupted, brother. It's based upon lies. Based upon lies. Let me let me explain. Okay, this theology, this belief you have. You know the Christians. Okay. They have a narrative. Okay. They believe Jesus is God. He was God in flesh. Okay. He walked on earth. A God incarnate. He died for our sins on the cross. And 
you know, they love to imagine that in the, in the churches. You see the you see the Christians and they're crying. They are, they're, they're, wait, 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 wait. I, I, I will. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming to that. They're crying like that. They're shedding tears and they're in in an ecstatic ecstatic state, right? An ecstatic state okay, of mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. They are very much involved in that state of mind yeah, yeah. spiritually. Jahiliya. Yeah, not jahiliya. Misguidance. Misguidance. Likewise, Shias have come up with this view. Self-imposed history. They go to the majalis. They cry when they hear these stories, and 90% of these stories are not even true. They are lies. They pack of lies being so told. Imam wait, wait. Was never uh, in the uh, of absolutely, he was martyred. He was martyred by the worst creatures on the planet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Zid, we believe. So, so this is a Sunni speaking to you, right? Clearly telling you okay. that we don't agree with the way you moan Hussein of the Allah. We agree with his uh, his mission. His sacri I mean, when I, when I say the 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 mor the morality of uh, so Imam Hussain. Wait, let, let me let me finish. No, you you, you, have to, you let me finish my. We we agree I'm with the principles of, of Imam Hussain radiallahu an. Okay, we agree with all the principles okay. he carried. We have no disagreements with him. Okay, we are with him, and on the day of judgment, we hope we will be with him. The people of Kufa who invited him and killed him were the same Shia who claimed to be with Ali. So the people who actually killed him, uh, yeah, yeah, agre agreed, agreed. They called themselves Shia to Ali. They, that was the real Shia. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, wait, you choose, you pick and choose. But uh, let, me, let, me tell, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Because a lot of Shias were in prison at that let time. Me, let me tell you something. Who, the real followers of Hussein. The, swords, prison, the, swords, the swords that struck the blessed body of Hussein, the swords, the... No, 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 wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. This is why you need to open your mind and st stop reading selective version of history. Start, stop listening to it. Your, your, uh, your Muammams and your uh, Zakirin are not going to tell you this, what I'm telling you okay, now. They will never tell you this. Now listen to this, listen to this. The swords, the spears, the arrows, the stones, all those things that were hitting the blessed body of Hussein radiallahu an, who was throwing the arrows, the spears, who was striking him with swords? Who? Who? Muslim. Him and his family. Muslim. No, 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 don't, 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 don't be clever. Don't be clever. He's not going to save you. Wait, who? Wait, wait, brother, wait. Calm down. We're going to get somewhere today, inshallah. Okay? Okay? All of these people, because Shiaism came about as it is known today, due to the uh, Battle of Karbala, the incident of Karbala. If the no, incident, uh, no, 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 Sakifa is. It, it was projected onto Shiaism later on. This is this is Shia. Later on, Shia intellectuals they started to look for excuses to justify their theology, and they came up with all these things. It was all later on. It was all later. It was the Battle of Karbala that uh, gave rise to what we know today as Twelve Shiaism. And let me explain how, very quickly. This army that came to fight Hussein, how many people were there? 10 to 30,000. No, no. Sources vary. Yeah, 5,000. 5, Let's 000. say 5,000. Okay. okay. Some places are very 10,000. How, how many of them were from the city of Kufa and how many were, how many of them were from Damascus? From Sham? Yeah, sent by Yazid. Sent, were, sent by Kufa. Yazid. A lot of them are from Kufa. When you say a lot, what do you mean? 9% Kufa, 10% No. 99% Kufa. Because you can count, there were less than 20 people from Asham, less than 20 people, including Ubaidullah bin Ziyad and his entourage. 20 people. Yes, I, 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 Allah deal with him. May Allah deal with him. Okay, may Allah give him what he deserves. Okay, anyone who killed Hussein and his family. Okay, may Allah deal with them. May Allah give them what they deserve. I mean, okay, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Wait, 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 wait. Now, these 5,000 people. They were from the city of Kufa. What were the, city, the people of the city of Kufa called? They called themselves the Shia Tawali. Okay. Now you know this, right? Yeah, yeah. You course, know this. Good, course, good, good, good. So these 5,000 people who Khawarij. were throwing, not Khawarij. They were, these people were, the people of Kufa were not Khawarij. They were called Shia to Ali. Shia to Ali. Okay. These are the same people who invited Hussein. And Muawiyah, they wrote the letters. And Muawiyah radiallahu an, when he was ruling, he kept warning Hussein that these people are writing letters to you. I am aware of the letters. I have my intelligence. They are writing letters to, to you. Don't listen to them. They are your enemies. They will cause you to do something which will, which will cause us problems. He kept writing 
letters to Hussein رضي الله عنه. Okay. Now, now wait, wait. Muawiya died رضي الله عنه. His son, his son, his his son. The entire problem comes from Muawiya. You want to stand by that? Imam Hassan alayhi salam wrote a treaty with Muawiya. Said, I will stand down. Let you be Khalifa. What's one of the terms of the treaty? You know, I'll put your own successor. You let Hussein. Okay. If Imam Hussein was the Khalifa, that's it. There would have been no Karbala. Okay. Good. That's a very good point. That's of course, it was prophesied. It was going to happen no, because, no, no. because you, read it, you, 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 you raised you raised an intelligent point. Of course, I agree with you. The Hassan Muawiya, but yeah. uncle, we have to go back to Aisha. Yeah, we'll no, speak we're, about we're, this. We're, we're coming. We're Aisha. coming back because you you keep opening up these different wanna, topics. I know. Fair enough. It's yeah. that sort of topic, uncle. Yeah. It's going to yeah. go around. No, but it shouldn't go around. I know. I know. We go step by step. We deal with one topic at a time, and then we move on to the next topic. You say this question. Let me address that question. Then we go to the next question, because if you keep throwing spanners in the works. Then it's going to happen, right? So you have to be patient. When you throw a question at me, then have the patience to listen to the response. Okay, go on. You may not like it. So these people who killed Hussein were Shia. They were Shia. They called self-referentially. They were Shia. They were calling themselves Shia. And now Shia of Yazid. Sorry. Maybe Shia of Yazid. Yeah. Why? Why? Why do you disown them today? Why? Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Agreed. I'm agreeing with you. But they were called Shia to Ali. No, but Shia, we follow Ahlul Bayt. So how could you kill one of them? It's like what do you mean? ISIS calls themselves Muslim. They don't make them Muslim. I I agree. Yeah. I agree. They're not Shia. I agree. I agree. That's why we don't follow ISIS theology. We don't follow ISIS theology, but what you do, what you do, wait, what you do is, no, no, look, they, they, are, they are misguided, they are completely lost, and we, 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 we have nothing to do with them. They are Khawarij. They are Khawarij. Okay, they are Khawarij. What, what, what Khawarij Muslim? What, what Khawarij Muslim? Ali bin Abi Talib, he said they were Muslim, but they misguided. They are misguided. Okay, so now the point is, Shias. From Kufa, they killed Hussein, radiallahu anhu, and then later on they themselves were crying about it. Reports tell us, Zainul Abidin, when he was carried into Kufa, after he survived the battle, he saw people. You know the stories, right? You know all. So why don't you sit down one day and think about think about this seriously? That why do you always? Blame the Sunnis. We don't blame the Sunnis. For, okay. Who no. blames the Sunnis? Ka the, the Battle of Karbala. You don't blame the Sunnis. Uncle, you call. Don't. Do you call the Sunnis Yazidis? Do you call them Yazidis? Oh my God! Yeah. Do you call them? No. Bakaris. No Omaris. Um, you ever heard me say this? No, no. You don't you're, you're 22 years old. Come on, Uncle. Man. You, you just came on the scene. I just, I just and met I'm you close. today. Uncle, I just met you today. But your, your authorities. Your, your big, big guys out there online, Who's they're calling us Bakaris, Omaris, Yazidis. Imam Mahdi and Allah Azawajal, that's my prayer, that's my prayer. Okay, let people decide. So my, my question is, if these people killed Hussein and they were called Shia to Ali, and then it doesn't stop there, wait, wait, it doesn't stop there. Afterwards, they come up with a religion in the name of Hussein. A religion, a complete religion is formed in Kufa. Wait, it's a religion. It's a religion. It's a sect of wait, Islam. Wait, wait, wait. So you don't no, consider us no, no. to be Muslims? Shiaism is a religion. Astaghfirullah. Twelve, twelve Shiaism. Bayt al Qadir Rasulullah said, if I'm, if I'm your mawla, Ali is your mawla. Is it not religion? No. That is, it's, our religion is Islam. Our you? religion is Islam. Okay, yes. Your religion comes yes. after yes. Abu Hanifa, yes. Imam Malik, yes. Yes. and yes. Ahmed you, Shah. You, 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 no, it's not the same. It's not. Our sources are different, brother. When you say, when you try to add yourself in the, uh, in the four schools of thought as the fifth school of thought, you're not the fifth school of thought. Let me explain. Let We're me. The only school yes. Of thought. Say that. At least say that. I, I like. I like that. I like, I like that. I like this. This confidence, I love. I love this I'm confidence. Not lie. We're more Sunni than you, and you're more Shia than us, whether you believe it or not. We follow the Prophet. We follow the Sunnah. We follow the man of Bayt al Gadir. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you how. No, I'll tell you how you get your Sunnah. I was getting to that point. What the Sunnah you follow, uh, the Sunnah you follow, is actually not the Sunnah. I'll explain. The people who transmitted. Knowledge from the Ahlul Bayt, you claim to follow 12 Imams. Actually, you don't follow 12 Imams. You follow attributions to two Imams. Okay, you have virtually nothing from Ali bin Abi Talib, yeah. very little, close to nothing. All public. And well, wait, wait, well, let me finish. Let me finish, brother. Let me finish. You have virtually nothing from Hassan. You have virtually nothing from Hussein. Wait, 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 wait. Where are your sources? 
Our sources are what? We the Sunni. If you ask Sunnis, what are your sources? We will say primarily the Quran, number one. Then the Sunnah. Wait, wait. The Sunnah. Then we will say the Sunnah. What do we mean by the Sunnah? No, no. What, what do we mean by the Sunnah? You ask us, what do you mean by the Sunnah? We say Sunnah documented in authentic books like Sahih al-Bukhari, Sahih al-Muslim, Abu Dawud, Tirmizi, Ibn Majah, Nasa'i. So we call them Siha, Sitta. When we ask the Shias, what do you mean by the Sunnah? They say four books, not those six books. They say Al-Kafi, Man La Yahdur Al-Faqih, Al-Istabsar, Al-Tahdeeb. These four books. Now, now, now we look at our sources. Now when we, we go to our Hadith, our Hadith, for example, when Bukhari says, Qala Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Bukhari doesn't say, I think so. He says, my teacher told me, and he was, his teacher was, to, to, uh, he was told by his teacher, and then he was told by his teacher, and then he was taught by the Prophet. For example, Bukhari says, I was told by Makki ibn Abi Ibrahim, he was told by Yazid ibn Abi Ubaid, he was told by Salma Tabin al Aqwa, and he was told by the Prophet So Bukhari gives a chain, a chain of information. That information that comes directly from the Prophet via this chain. Another report, another chain from, the, uh, from Bukhari. Abdullah bin Yusuf, taught by Malik bin Anas, taught by Nafi, taught by Abdullah bin Umar, and he was taught by the Prophet. So we have chains. Now we go to the Shia books. What happens? Imam Jafar al-Sadiq said such and such, so and so, nothing from the Prophet. No chain, no chain, chain from the, chain. wait, wait, been, brother, wait. Chain. I know, I know, I know. Let me explain for those who don't know. Imam Jafar al-Sadiq and reports are attributed to them. Okay. Two Imams, okay. only two Imams. 90% Imam of the reports in these four books I mentioned of Shia sources, they come from two Imams. Imam Jafar al-Sadiq and Imam Muhammad al-Baqir. Okay. The one who okay. splits knowledge. Okay. Yeah, okay, now. So did Imam Jafar al-Sadiq come himself today to tell us what he taught? No, there are people who narrate from him. So when you read the names of those people, there are four main sources in chains. Four. Abu Basir. No. Kulaini is a collector. These are reporters. Abu Basir, Hisham bin Hakam, Hisham bin Salim, and Zurarat ibn Ayyad. Okay, now. Okay. All of these four are Iraqis, and they are uh, from the city of Kufa. Okay. And they are the reporters. All four of them were compulsive liars. Yes. Wait, according to the Shia sources, according to the Shia sources, you're laughing, but it's not funny. If I was told, if I was told that Abu Huraira, Anas bin Malik, Saeed bin Khudri, Abu Saeed al Khudri, uh, uh, Abu was a liar. okay, we'll talk about that. We'll talk, let, put Abu Huraira aside for a second. Put Abu Huraira so aside. Talk about the wait, 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 wait. By the way, by the, by the way, we don't need Abu Huraira. We don't even need Abu Huraira for Sunnah. Even if you want to in question, isn't it? Wait, wait. Listen. Wait. I, I, I have all the satisfactory responses you're looking okay, for. We put aside Abu Huraira for the sake of the argument. Okay. We don't need Abu Huraira. We don't even need Sahasita. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me shock you now. Let me shock you now. We don't even need our six books to reach Sunnah because we have 180 other works of Hadith that have collected these reports from the Prophet directly coming from the Prophet via chains independently of these six books or six individuals. So we don't even need these six books. When people start attacking Bukhari and Muslim, they are a bunch of fools. They are a bunch of fools because they don't know how our sources work. We don't need Bukhari. If you throw away Bukhari, Audhu Billah, I'm not saying we do throw away. <laughs> yeah, if you, if you put Bukhari aside, if you put Muslim aside, we still have our entire Sunnah. We have all the sources preserved. Now, with the Shia sources, these four people, if you take them out, if you take them out, who are a bunch of compulsive liars, you take them out, okay, and the, the entire house, okay, the why entire though? house why? collapses. Why though? Why though? Why? why? Because, 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 wait, wait, 90% of your reports attributed to, to the two Imams are coming from these four. Okay, one second. Major, Imam majority, Imam majority, Imam majority Imam of them. And Imam Jafar Sadiq, wait, yeah? now, now, what, what do we, what Islam. do we? Islam. Sorry. 
so many divisions. So many like divisions. You don't have to listen to us. He's probably an atheist. Are you an atheist? Are you an atheist? Okay. Well, agnostics have all sorts of different views and dis disagreements. This is, they, this is a human phenomena. What's your name? So there's absolutely no what, 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 What's your name? Wait, 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 wait. What's your name? You're delivering a speech now. You're delivering a speech now. What's your name? What's your name? What is your name? Introduce yourself, please. What's your name? Mick. Are you married, Mick? What the hell is that going to do? Are you married or not? No, I'm a practicing gay. Okay. Do you have a partner? Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Help. That, that's fine. That's good. That's a. That's a. No, wait, wait, wait. Uh, do you have a partner? Okay. Do you always agree with your wife and your kids? Do you always agree with them? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Do you always? I'm asking a question. Do you? Fine, fine, fine. Do you always agree with your wife and your children? Let's continue. So have the Europeans, agnostics, atheists. It's a human phenomena. It's not the Sunnis. It's a human phenomena. Yeah, thank you. So we agree. We agree. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. Shake my hand. We agree. I don't have COVID on my hand. Shake my hand. So no, 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 don't worry about it. I've answered your question, your statement. This is a human. It's a human. Look, my thing is, yeah, Shias, all the people. People think disagreeing means that you, what you believe in is false. No, 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 no. We have a different narratives of history. Different narratives of history, yeah. All right, cool, uncle. Yeah, basically, like. So we're talking about Imam Muhammad al-Bakr and Imam Jafar al-Sadiq, yeah? Uncle? Do you support Imran Khan? Pardon? Do you support Imran Khan? Imran Khan, uncle, you know, I'm like 50-50, you know? Okay. Like, okay. I, it's not something I've really looked into. Okay. But from what I've seen, I think he was better than the ones that came okay. before. So, so now, now, no, are you aware of the things I mentioned earlier? Yes, uncle, you did. Can I explain it, please? Are you aware why, of this? Yeah, can I explain why there's such minimal sources of the Shia? It's because... So you Imam Jafar al-Sadiq, who was the um, Khalifa at this time? Uh, Ma'munun, isn't it? Uh, um, uh, it was a Harun al-Rashid, the one before Harun al-Rashid. When, when did Imam Jafar al-Sadiq Imam die? Jafar Sadiq Imam Jafar al-Sadiq was the sixth Imam, yeah? When did he die? When did he Radiyallahu die? Radiallahu anhu, radiallahu anhu. Alayhi salam, I don't know the exact year, but he was killed by Harun al-Rashid, didn't he? Listen. So, well, so, 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 do you, do you, do you love the Ahlul Bayt? Of course, one Muslim does Do you, do you love your mother? Of course, one When was he born? She was born in 1978. Okay, you know, Subhanallah, your mother is my age. Mashallah, so you better respect me because I'm, 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 I'm as the same same age as your father, no, no, your, your parents. You know. No, I, so, so wait, 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 I wait. wait. Used to practice the key wait. On it because a lot of them used to be Wait, children. wait. Now, look. You remember yeah, the, the the date of birth of your mother, of right? Of course, of course. Okay. So this shows that you actually care about the person. Of course, you know? of course. Yeah. Of course. I know when Imam Jafar al Sadiq radiAllahu anhu died. Mashallah. Do you know? So a lot of the Shias. A lot of the Shias, ignore him, don't worry about it. A lot of the Shias, they have this love for the Ahlul Bayt, which I don't deny and I don't doubt it. But this love, is it even real? This is the question. Do they even know enough about these people? They know what the Mu'ammams and the Zakirin are telling them in the Majalis and the Husayniyat. They know that much, right? But do the Shias actually take time to sit down and study their biographies and the people they were related to? The people they were related to were the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Okay, they were, there was no break between the Ahlul Bayt and the Sahaba. They were intermingled, they, were inter, they intermarried, they intermarried. Forget about Jamal and A lot happened before Jamal and Sifin and a lot happened because you, you, you know, if a child... So ever say the Fatima buried? Okay, look. Nobody if, knows. If I, if, no if, if, I, if I lock a child up in a room and give him Harry Potter to read, yeah, he will live in Harry Potter. Okay, His no, no, entire no, no. life, I wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Since we're talking about hadith, did Abu Bakr not take up uh, father from Sayyidah Fatima Zahra? And she said, I'm angry with you. And when I see my father, I will tell him I'm angry with you. Okay. And what does the same book say? The one who angers Fatima angers Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The one who angers Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who does he anger? Allah, Allahu Akbar. That's in your books. Wallahi, that's in your books. I'm open-minded. I'll read your books and I'll look into your sources. But that's what it says. It's clear as day. So how can we deny? How can we deny 
that there was no problems between the, uh, the companions. I, I will. Bay. This is this is this is how we'll now know that you don't read our books. You just hear the muammams and the zakirin already, in the in the majalis, and then you come to us with all these things. Do you know when the prophet made that statement? Whoever angers Fatima angers me. Okay. Wait, the, wait, wait, second, wait, second, wait, second, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Now they're gonna say. Now they're gonna say. No, no, I'm not gonna say nothing. No, no, don't assume. 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 Be sincere. Be sincere. The Prophet. When did the Prophet make this statement? He made it in your books. Yeah. So I don't know. So you're, you're, no, no, no. One second. Hold on. I agree. You just. Agree you, you, uh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You just said. I know your books, no, no, no. and it's in your books. And Prophet said this yes. without telling people yes. what he said this okay, about and who he said this There's to. Who did he say this to? No, no. Now you're saying it's a lie, but you used it against me. Now you're saying it's a lie, and you used. Okay. One minute. Abu Lahab was a kufa, was uncle of the Prophet. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Is, is it a lie? Is it a lie? Is no, it a lie? Whoever angers okay. Fatima, yes, the Prophet is angry with them. Okay. Okay. Wait. Wait. This statement. Yes. Of the prophet. Yes. Okay. Is it a lie or is it true? It's true. It's true. When was it made? And who? Context, who? Wait, context, wait. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Why would How? I, I was having a conversation. I was. I was. I was having a conversation. Wait, wait, wait. This is very funny. Wait, brother, brother, calm down, calm down. I was having a conversation with a Christian very recently online. This Christian brought a report against me from Sahih al-Bukhari that Muhammad had a Christian scribe. He was reading, he was writing the Quran for him. I said, prove it. This doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. <laughs> Muhammad had a Christian scribe. Yeah, it's, in your, it's in your books, it's in your books, it's in your books. I said, bring it. Just like he just said, it's in your books. So he brought the report. We read the report. The report says that he was a Christian. He became a Muslim. He became a scribe and then he apostatized. Okay, then what happened, the same hadith, the same report tells us when he died, they put him in the grave. The, uh, the grave would throw him out. They put him in a. They put him in a grave. The grave would throw him out. It was a miracle, right? So now, what this Christian decided to do, he used the part of the hadith against me. Oh, look! This happened. This happened. This happened. Apostasy part, right? But I said, okay. Do you believe the report is true or is false? He said it's true. I said, okay. Then if that part is true, the second part of the same report is also true that he was thrown out of the grave. That means Muhammad is a true prophet of Allah. He's a true prophet of God because this miracle happened. Okay, now, likewise, li and he was stuck for about 10 minutes. Wait, now, the same thing I asked this brother, he used the report against me, okay. not knowing, okay. not knowing how we understand this I, report. I, I and when I, when I raised, when okay, I raised... For argument's sake, let's understand it from your way, yeah? You guys believe Imam Ali wanted to marry the daughter of Abu Lahab and then... Not Abu Lahab. Abu Jahl. Abu Jahl, sorry, my bad. It yeah? was Abu Lahab. Yeah. Uh, Abu, Abu Jahl, they wanted to marry the daughter of Abu, Abu Lahab. is the name, not Abu Lahab. Abu okay. Lahab, it's in the Quran. Okay, like Shere Yazadan, yeah? Do, do, you, read the, do you read the Quran, by the way? I've read, do you I've read, read the Quran. Quran. Do you know Surah Lahab? Do you know Surah Lahab? I've read the Quran. Do you know Surah Lahab? Yes, Surah Lahab in the Quran. Which, how do you re read it? I don't know it off Baha. One second. So One that, second. Wait, wait, wait. Is, so it, is, it, is it a criteria you have to be fluent? But if you, if you don't Quran. know these basic surahs, of the, why are you arguing? You're killing my time. I'm asking, ask me I'm questions. I'm asking you, okay, I'm asking you a question. Yeah? You don't know basic okay, things of the Quran. Me, first, this is why, look, all, all of these people, these Shia brothers yeah. and sisters who are going to be watching outside out there. Yeah. They're going to get frustrated and they're going to say, why are you even talking to these uh, youngsters? These, I mean, I'm putting it politely. Of yeah? course, of because course. the comments are very ugly. The comments are very ugly, yeah? But I don't want to say what they say. So so don't okay, argue Abu with Bakir me. Don't Fatima. argue with me. Okay, quick, just quick one. Did Abu Bakr Anga Fatima? Okay, good. Yes, now, no. now, are you opening another topic now? No, we were talking about this. We went off topic for a little while. Start talking about some How many times are we going to go off and, uh, topic? Let's just quick I'm gonna, this one. So let's stick to this let's one. Let's finish this chapter let's stick, go back to Aisha. Shall, shall I stick to... Shall I stick, no, shall I... I can, I, I, can, I can address the topic. Wait. Any topic, my brother, my young brother, my, yeah. you're like my son, you know. Okay, yeah. You're, you're as young, you're, you're you're younger than my son. Thank you. Okay, my son is 25, mashallah. Okay, okay. okay. I any topic you want to discuss on Shia Sunni differences and Shia Sunni discourse, yeah. I will happily answer your questions. Okay. Okay. But you have to be in a mode of learning. Okay. And asking questions, not debate me. I'm don't debate me because it's clear that you don't know the basic stuff. And it gets ready. You only know the stuff you have heard from since childhood, from the member, from the Zakirin. The stuff that contradicts itself. Okay. 
stuff yeah. that contradicts itself. Yeah. Yeah. So, uncle, yeah. you're saying Sahaba yeah. and Ahlul Bayt had no problems, but then Abu Bakr angered Fatima, and the one who angers Fatima is, is condemned by Allah. Okay, okay, okay. She died angry with him. We, we, we don't believe that. We don't believe that. We don't believe that. We don't believe that. It's not in our books. You, you, you. Again, that hadith, that statement was made by Ali bin Abi Talib. So you don't know when you actually quote that hadith, you shoot yourself on the foot you, without realizing what you, you you don't know. Most of you don't know the context of that hadith. The context of the hadith is that Ali bin Abi Talib wanted to get married to the daughter of Abu Jahl, and Fatima was very angry, and Rasulullah became upset because of that, and he made that statement. Okay, so you fit that statement on Abu Bakr. You fit that. You take that statement made by Ali bin Abi Talib. For whatever reason, and you bring it to Abu Bakr, okay. which is very, very unfair. No, no, if Fatima okay. died, if Fatima yeah. died angry with the Ali, no, she, no, no, did she no, die angry with no, Abu Bakr? No, 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 wait, yes. no, absolutely no. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. If she died angry with Abu Bakr, she would have left statements behind that I'm not happy with Abu Bakr. Her May her Allah do this to Where's Abu Bakr. Grave? May Allah, okay. Where's the grave of Fatima? Show me where the grave of Fatima. Al Baqi. Exactly where you can go touch like the grave of someone like Aisha or the... Hussain or Jafar Sadiq. Yeah. You can go touch their graves. You where? cannot touch. The where grave can you of touch their graves? Well, now this has been all destroyed and stuff by Saudi Arabia. What, what are you going to do with the grave anyway? No, what I'm do you just want saying, from the grave? Minute, why was her grave hidden? You know but grave what, what do you want the, from the grave, no, though? No, the grave of say the the reason why say the Fatima's grave was hidden was to express her anger against the. So so all. The Sahaba, all the Sahaba who are buried in Al Baqi, yeah. their graves are hidden for the same, same reason. No, I'm saying why not? Why not them then? Nobody knew why, why do you only focus on Fatima and all the other companions of the Prophet who are buried in Al Baqi? Their graves are lost. No, no, we don't no, no, know no, who's no, buried, no, no, buried no, where. No, 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 yeah. Right. One minute, a few hundred years ago, before uh, Al Baqi was destroyed by the. You're Asa. debating me or you're asking me questions? Uncle, look, I'm just trying to explain myself to you. Fatima expressed her anger by being buried in secret. Brother, Nobody knows from the day she died I, up until now. Only a select few people knew where she was buried. Nobody knows the same Fatima was buried. I, I already know these things. Nobody you're, knows you're, she was buried. I have addressed these topics at length previously in the park. So you should go and watch all my discussions with other Shia friends. And, and, I have, and, and then you decide. And, and if you really want to die in this state, I cannot help you. But if you want to be on the true path, then it comes with an effort. The effort is to learn. Okay, just going, the sincere open mind. Go and read both sides, not one side. The, the benefit I have, I have read both sides. I, no, you haven't. Have you read one? Okay, no, 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 you haven't read, you have heard. You have heard propaganda, you have heard emotions, you have heard things that not, may, may not be true. So Fatima was in angry Books. with Abu Bakr. Abu no, Bakr she never was stole Father. Is is never happened. Angel I, I'm, I'm, dealing, I'm dealing with this, brother. Angel. I'm dealing with this. Fatima. I'm dealing with this. Fatima is my heart. Brother. I can die for the name of Fatima. And who killed they... Fatima? You and Fatima Razi Ta'ala Anha. Go, go, go research who killed Fatima. Let me, let, me let me deal with this. 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 Brother, let me. I'm dealing with this with evidence. Okay. No. No, no, no. no. Brother, brother, you're disturbing us. You're disturbing us. I'm not disturbing you. You're talking too much. Sorry. I wish there was a shortcut. I, I wish there was a shortcut. Okay. So, Destroy you, you know, are talking too much. Shaitan, is Ramadan, Shaitan is tied up. <laughs> yeah. Shaitan yeah. is not here. Just on his topic, about yeah. the first one, about his, uh, Because wives. he keeps going from yeah. topic. About the wives. Yeah. Because he's saying that them two are not, you know. Surah Tahrim. Yeah. So just say, is your mom or my mom, if she does something wrong, are you going to abandon her? Um, uh, wow, well, one of the Sahaba of Imam Ali alayhi salam said to him in Jangay Jamal, in the Battle of Jamal, he said, don't you know Aisha is your mother? And Imam Ali said, what, Allah can't test you with your mother? So what about the wife of Nuh alayhi Beautiful. No, no. The wife that's Nuh beautiful. Alayhi Wait, the wife that's beautiful. That's a statement salam. made by a noble man, a mu'min, who knows that he, he didn't, he, did, did, these people don't listen to Ali. They don't listen to Ali. They, they, they love, they love for Ali is like the love Christians have for Jesus. Okay, they don't listen to Jesus. They don't listen to Jesus. Wait. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus said. Wait. That's that's haram itself. How's it haram? You're saying I don't. How is it haram in the Quran? Where did you say Shadu Allah ilaha illa Muhammad Rasulullah? What word in the Quran? Now, now, now you're going. Now you're going on a on a slogan flex. This, no slogans. No conversation. 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 Okay. Now, now. 
No slogans. Okay. No, I'm a Muslim no, who follows no, the no, Quran. No, 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 you You're entertaining the crowd. We're not going to have a conversation. No, no, no. You, are, you asked a very good question. And he confirmed that Allah can test you with your mother. Of course. Absolutely. Did Ali say, no, he's, no she's not my mother? She's condemned in Surah Tahreem. She's criticized by Allah. She's corrected by Allah. She's this, she's this, she's this. No, he said, Allah can test you with, his, uh, with, with your mother. Absolutely. This is a mu'min, a noble man speaking, not a 12er Rafidi. This is not a 12er Rafidi speaking. A 12er Rafidi would say, she's not the mother of Ali. She's not the mother of Hussein. She's not the mother of Hassan. She's not the mother at all. Ali did not deny that. Ali said, she's my mother. But Allah is testing us. And we agree with Ali bin Abi Talib radiallahu anh, that Allah tested him with his mother. And he was very noble in his behavior. Okay. He uh, protected her. He, uh, he went to see her. Okay. They had a conversation. Then he sent her back with respect to Medina. This is Ali bin Abi Talib. Okay. I don't know if these Iraqi death squads, if they would have got hold of Aisha. I don't know what they would have done to Aisha. Knowing well that she's the wife of the Prophet ﷺ and Prophet died her in, uh, in her arms, I don't know what their behavior she would be like. Be they're not, they're not following Ali. These people, those who curse in their Husseiniyat, those who are sending lana upon the best people who walk the planet, those people who, who, who peddle lies, those people who peddle lies, they're not the followers uncle, of Ali bin Abi Talib. They're not his followers. Uncle, you know we started this topic with Aisha, with the mother of the believers and all this. Right, going back to Hadith, yeah? So now speaking about individual characters, how we shouldn't judge a person based upon, oh, this person is related to that person, that was a good person, so we should follow them. So based upon individual merits, yeah? And Aisha, whether she's to be followed or trusted or not. Uncle, I come across all these Hadith, yeah? And when the... When You're the asking me a question, yeah? I'm asking you a question. So when the non-believers say to me, your prophet married a six-year-old and had sex with them when she was nine, when when someone shows me a hadith where Aisha said that it's okay for a grown man, wait, wait, where Aisha used to be encouraged the no, breastfeeding of grown men, but I allow it, man, allow no, it, relax, bro. I don't entertain it. You continue I with your question. It. I mind it. No, please. You continue Why with your question. Okay, so you know when Aisha, um, in uh, what's the hadith? Was Sahih Muslim, right? She, ya Allah, she encouraged, she encouraged the breastfeeding, the suckling of grown men. Breastfeeding. This is Sahih Muslim. I can show you. There's another hadith I come across where Aisha said she used to scrape the semen of the clothes of Rasulullah. And there's another one which influenced. Brother, brother, please. There's another please, one. Don't do there's, that. there's another don't hadith do that. from Aisha. Don't do that. There's another one from Aisha. Which we're trying, we're trying to have a conversation, brother. Please. I'm losing my head here. Yeah. 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 I, yeah. There's a, there's another so, so what are you doing now? You're doing you're you're throwing ten questions at me no, uncle, and then you want me to address no, every uncle, single one of them in, in the and then you say, Uncle, I have another question. Uncle, you keep saying uncle no, 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 and you keep okay. shifting shifting Aisha. poles. Okay. Okay. So um, No first first of all, first of all, let's go to Surah Al Tahreem. Okay. Okay. Surah al -Tahrim, you yeah. clearly have no response to that. Surah al -Tahrim, you're, you're using all these reports no, and you're I trying to wait, no wait, wait, so wait. Patience, no patience. patience. Now listen, you're saying all these things because you don't like Aisha. Clearly you don't like Aisha. You don't I'm like her. Aisha. Against Aisha. Okay. I like her. <laughs> I like her. We, we like her. Everyone watching, they're saying Aisha. they like her My and they're saying all these Aisha. things. And I'm just describing a okay. character. Okay, okay. Do you like her? Do you like her? Yeah, okay. Do you like her as, as, is she your mother? Is she your mother as a believer? You're a believer? Wait one second. Are you a I'm believer? A believer? I'm a believer, but is the wife of Nuh Salam my mother as well? No, no, she was a kafira. Aisha was not a kafira. Yeah. You see, no, 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 this is the point. Your hypocrisy, your hypocrisy is so visible that people are probably thinking that this guy's probably not right in the head. Let me tell you, you just said, I just asked you, do you like Aisha? Yeah, I like Aisha. He said, I like Aisha. And then you are equating Aisha with the wife of Noah. No, what but kind of hypocrisy Allah, is this? Allah what such kind of hypocrisy and lies? Surah Tahrim. Let yeah. me read Surah Tahrim. No, what, what, what kind of inconsistency is this? Surah Tahrim, verse 10. No, left is it's Surah Tahrim. You are not making sense, brother. Let this is what the problem with the Shia. Yeah. At, least, at least have the guts to stand by your view. Say, yes, this is what we okay, believe in. Okay, okay, one minute. Yeah. Surah Tahrim. At least. Okay, verse 10, yeah? Allah sets forth an example for the disbelievers, the wife of Noah and the wife of Lot. Each was married to one of our righteous servants, yet betrayed them. So their husbands were of no benefit to them against the law whatsoever. Both were told into the fire along with the others. Yes. Okay. That's Surah Tahrim. A few verses before that, 
It's about Aisha and Aksa and exposing us. Few, few verses. How many verses before that? Seven verses. Seven, seven verses. verses. So, so you jump from uh, one yeah, yeah, one verses. verse. So in the Quran, Allah condemns Ad and Samud. Allah condemns Ad and Samud. That also must reverse to Aisha. No, no, that no, also no, must no. reverse. Read the whole okay. surah. Okay. Okay. Read the whole surah. Okay. Now. Your standard. Good. This is good. I like this. I very. I, I like this very much. He said, read the whole surah. Read the context. Okay. 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 Good. You stand by that. Yes. We should read the verses before and the verses after, and then apply. Yes. We will do that same. We'll do the same with Surah Al-Hazab, verse 30 onwards. Okay. Yes. Yes. Wait. Yeah. No. No. Here. No. 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 Wait. You know what's going to happen? God. You know what's going to happen? Yeah. Your this very point yeah. is going to fall in its face. Okay, cool. What? Okay. Okay. We're going to go to Surah. Can we not uh, carry on with Surah? No, we're, we're, no, no, we're going to. First Surah Hazab. First Surah Hazab. We're going to re read all these verses. Okay. Okay. And we're going to get somewhere, inshallah. Okay, where is that? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Surah Ahzab. Verse 30, Surah 33, verse 30. O wives of the Prophet, if any of you were to commit a blatant misconduct, this is the context of Surah Al Tahrim, where Allah is correcting Aisha and Hafsa, okay, for a mistake, for something that they might have done, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down a warning to them. And then here, Allah is repeating the same formula in Surah Al-Ahzab. Okay. O wives of the Prophet, if any, if, if any of you were to commit a blatant misconduct, the punishment would be doubled for her. And that is easy for Allah. So Allah is warning them because you are the wives of the Prophet. If you do something wrong, your punishment will be double because of the status. And whoever of you devoutly obeys Allah, and his messenger and does good, we will grant her double the reward. And we have prepared for her an honorable provision. Verse 32. O wives of the Prophet, you are not like any other women. If you are mindful of Allah, then do not be overly effeminate in speech with men or those with sickness in their hearts may be tempted, but speak in a moderate tone. Verse 33. Settle in your homes. Talking to who now? Talking to who? Oh, who? Oh, wives. wives oh, wives of the Prophet. Settle in your homes and do not display yourselves as women did in the days of pre Islamic ignorance. Establish prayer, pay alms, and obey Allah and His Messenger. Allah only intends to keep the cause of evil away from you and purify you completely. O oh, members of the Prophet's family, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. This context, because he said, let's read from the top to the bottom, right? When we did, we came to realize that Allah is directly speaking to the wives of the Prophet and purifying them. So Allah purified them. Okay. Now, having having repeated having repeated the warning, if you do something wrong, the punishment will be double. If you do something good, the reward will be double. Okay. Now, if if I, if I was to read that verse alone, oh wife the oh wife of the prophet, if you did something wrong, your punishment will be double. And I will say, I stop there. Wait. If I stop there, what would you what would you think? This is now Allah warning them. They must have done something wrong, right? They must have. Now, when we read the context. Like, now go back to Surah Tahrim. Surah Tahrim. I'm going to read now. Go on. Remember when the Prophet had... Let's go up. Allah has already ordained for you, believers, the way to absolve yourselves from your oaths. For Allah is your guardian and He is the all-knowing, all-wise. Remember when the Prophet had once confided something to, to one of his wives, then when she disclosed it to another wife and Allah made it known to him, he presented to her part of what was disclosed and overlooked apart. So when he informed her of it, she exclaimed, who told you this? He replied, I was informed by the all knowing, all aware. It will be better if you wives both turn to Allah in repentance for your hearts have certainly faulted. But if you, if, yeah, 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 absolutely. If you, but if you continue to collaborate against him, then know that Allah Himself is His guardian 
and Gabriel and the righteous believers and the angels are all his supporters as well. Okay. Perhaps if he were to divorce you, all his Lord would replace you, um, divorce you all, divorce you all. Okay. His Lord would replace you with better wives who are submissive to Allah, faithful to him, devout, repentant, dedicated to worship and fasting previously married or virgins. Okay. Oh, believers, per, uh, protect yourselves and your families from a fire whose fuel is people and stones overseen by formidable and se se several angels who never disobey whatever Allah orders always doing as commanded. The okay. Now told, the deniers will oh, then be told, oh, disbelievers, make no excuse this day. You are only rewarded for what you used to do. So now it has stopped there. The issue of wives is only two verses. Now what he does, he goes to verse 7, he jumps to... Uh, so sorry, no, to no, no, it's got nothing to do with them because the, the, the subject matter... Now, 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 now look at this hypocrisy that he's trying to connect a disconnected verse to, uh, to, a, to, to, to where it is directly connected. They cannot see it. They cannot see it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to leave it there with you. Uncle, in one chapter... Allah mentioned Aisha and Hafsa and how they uh, okay. revealed the secret of the okay. Prophet. Okay. And then a few verses so, so, so them. Is it the wives who are being purified? Is it the no, wives who are no, being I believe it's Akhrul no. Bayt. No, if you read no. in Arabic, if you no. read in Arabic, the no. Prophet. No, even though the verse says, oh, read the, the tafsir, wives of the, the Prophet. The tafsir, the tafsir. Okay, okay. So the, I leave it to brothers and sisters watching. Look. You decide. Read you decide tahrim, whether read this tahrim, this who? idea, this this idea, 12 Shiaism, makes sense to you. Yeah. You really want to continue us. following this you or you no, want to come to the truth? Men. The truth yeah. is on, with Allah, it's in your books, Tawheed and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's where the truth is. Sahih the Muslim. truth is nowhere else. The truth is nowhere else. Allah and His Messenger, okay? Knowledge that comes from His Messenger, not from liars of Kufa or liars of uh, Iraq or liars of Syria or the liars of Yemen. The religion, of Allah is documented in the Quran, Quran and, and the authentic Sunnah of the Prophet Quran Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And on that note, I will end. I think that's it. Our conversation has to Whoa. end because it's not getting anywhere. Yeah, it's not okay. Getting nowhere. Yeah, because because you insist on you're young, you insist on being on this misguided path. Well, uncle, look. You know, it's your choice. You know, the the I can't. I, I can. I can. I can tell you, brother. This this path will lead, the lead you to. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam had sex with a nine-year-old Astaf. Astaf, a fifty-year-old. Had sex with the nine-year-old Astaghfirullah. Why Astaghfirullah? Why Astaghfirullah? Wait, 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 wait. How again? Again? Uh, wait, wait. Where did you come from? Pakistan. Which part of Pakistan? Kashmir. 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 Which city? Kotli. 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 You're from Kotli, yeah? yeah? Do you know when your great grandmother married? How, how old was she? Uh, one of my grandparents, great grandparents, were 15 and 13 when they got married. Is that okay? There's a difference between. No, wait, 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 wait. One Wait, wait, what was, was your grandfather a pedophile? He was 15. Wait, and she was wait, 13. wait, was no, your, wait, okay, no. okay, Is wait, wait, I'm asking no, a question. No, he, wasn't. he wasn't a pedophile, why? Because he was a pedo, uh, he was a, you know, pedo means child, child, but yeah? He was a yeah? child himself. He was a child himself, so he right. can't be a pedophile. Yeah, okay. But still, the, the grandmother is a child, so he's still a child lover, isn't he? The prophet was 50 fact, and he no, married no, a no, nine wait, 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 I'm Who asking, a, brother, I'm asking a question. You're from Courtly. Yeah. You just told me your grandfather was 15, your grandmother was 13. Yeah. Was your grandfather a child lover? Even though he himself was a child. Yes, uh, well, yes, yes. Was he a child lover? Yes. Was, yes? But what was, was he a age? pedophile? Yeah, no. What was, was he a age? pedophile? What was his age? You're oh saying my. yes. You're, are you saying no, yes? He, how could he be a pedophile when he's... Wait, he's you don't, you don't get my age. logic. You don't okay, get my logic. No, no, he wasn't. logic. No, he wasn't. No, I know he was a child, 15. But so was your grandmother. Yeah, 13. Right? So because your grandmother was a ch child yeah. and her lover was also a child, yeah. so both are child lovers, no? Yes. Yes? yes. So both are pedophiles. <laughs> no, no. Okay, one minute. No, no, we're pedophiles. Okay, so this, is, this, okay, so this, is, this, this is answers my question. Would These you marry people? a nine-year-old? Would you marry a nine-year-old? No, I wouldn't. Absolutely not. Okay, I would not marry a nine-year-old. I wouldn't advise anyone to do that. It is not obligatory in Islam to do that. It is not even advised... Uh, but, in fact, in fact, today it may well be forbidden. You know why? Because, because you, know you know why? You know why? We 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 was we were told by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, be wary of the customs of the people you live with, or in the times you you live, right? So the, at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, this was a custom. Okay. And no, it wasn't the norm at the time of the Prophet. It was norm a hundred years ago. 
It was the knot. What do you mean, astaghfirullah? I'm going to show you something now. I'm going to show you something now. You're going to, you're going to, you're going to tell me. Wait. Churchill married, I think, eight-year-old. Mr. Churchill no, married an no, eight-year-old. No, no, no. Check it. One of the kings. Sorry, no king. Uh, what's his name? But I find it hard to believe my prophet married a nine-year-old. I had sex with a nine-year-old. Married a six-year-year-old. I had sex with her when she was nine. Oh, well, different times, different times. No, exactly. brother, that never happened. The Shia don't believe that well, she was eighteen or nineteen. Shia believe in all. Uh, Shia, Shia believe in that. Shia believe that Abu Talib breastfed the father. You believe that? Breastfed who? The, uh, the prophet. No, astaghfirullah. It's an al kafi It's an al kafi No, no, no. It's an al kafi Al kafi is not Sahih. Al kafi is not Sahih. The criteria is Quran. If it does not match Okay, okay, okay. Okay, Aisha can you, can you, moment. wait, listen, listen Aisha to me. No, she didn't, moment. she didn't, you're lying, you're lying. Don't, 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 don't use this language. Don't use it. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, you don't know what you're talking about. Stop, stop, stop opening your mouth if you don't know what you're talking about. Would you breastfeed another man? Would you? Uh, it's not you. physically possible. Okay, 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 good, good, good. Now, 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 in your al kafi in your al kafi in your al kafi clearly some Shias did believe that Abu Talib breastfed, wait, listen. Abu Talib breastfed the Prophet okay. because it's in your book. No, no. Okay, no, you want me to you want read? me to read it's the sahih, report? It's not Sahih Kaf. Do you want me to read the report? What does Sahih mean? Do you want me to read the report? Okay, you don't sahih? have any Sahih and Dahi. No. Shias don't have Sahih and Dahi. Okay. You don't have Sahih no, and Dahi. What's the criteria? You don't. Of the, you don't. The criteria of these is Quran. If it doesn't match the Quran, that's throw it at the wall. That's what Sheikh Kulaini said. If it doesn't, yes. If that's the case, all of your Kafi is in the gutter. All of your, if, if that's the case, okay, so all of your kafi is against the Quran. Aisha, More, Aisha a lot of it. Men. Wallahi Sahih Muslim, volume 8, number 3, 4, okay, 2, okay. 4. Okay, now, if you don't show me that Aisha breastfed. No, I, wait, 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 no, no. You just said, okay. hold on a second. Brother, what's your name? Uh, Fazan. 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 You're okay, right? Of course. You, you just said Aisha earlier. Did you hear him? Yeah, that Aisha breastfed. Grown man, you just said that. Do you, do you, did you make that statement? Let me bring the hadith no, up. Wait. So, wait, so there's no confusion. Did you no, make? No, so there's no wait, confusion. wait, wait, wait. wait. No, 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 no. Did you wait, wait? Did you make that statement? One minute. Wait. Did you make that One statement? One second. Let me go back. Did on you statement. make that statement? Yes, I did. Can I go back on it? No. Okay. Oh, you want to go back? I made a mistake. Okay. okay. She cannot physically. She could not physically breast the grown over. man. No, but she encouraged it. Game over. It's in the hadith. Get, wait, wait. Before we get to that part. You take back, you take okay. back your words that she did it. She, she didn't do it. No, but she encouraged it. Okay, wait. She encouraged other wait, women to Brother, I'm men. asking a specific question. She did not, right? You, she didn't do it. Hello? She didn't, no, no, she she didn't she, do it. No. So what made you say that in the first place? Ignorance? No, no, no. My bad. Okay. Um, wait, brother, moment, brother. I misphrased try, try it. to have a conversation. I misphrased it. Okay, no. It. Was it ignorance that made, you, that made you make that statement? That. No, 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 no. I misphrased it. I misphrased it. How can you miss? Encouraged. Would you say you're the best no, uh, grown man? My, my okay, wait, she wouldn't okay, encourage wait, it. Wait, wait, she wouldn't, she wouldn't. It. Okay, wait, wait. It's Would it's you it. say your mother ever a grown man? Would you say that by mistake? No, you wouldn't. The topic Thank don't you. even exist. Thank you. So the yeah, topic don't even yeah, exist. Yeah. So you wouldn't say that. Yeah. Likewise, be careful with Aisha. Of she, course, she's, of course, she's of course. higher than your my mother. My bad, my bad, yeah. uncle. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. No problem. Now coming to the report. Come to the hadith. Okay. Let's just go to the hadith. Hadith. First of all, Aisha radiallahu anha, she she said. That the Prophet ﷺ okay. allowed, uh, because there was there was a case that came to him, okay, that they were asking him if it's okay to uh, establish uh, foster foster relationship, foster relationship with a grown person, a grown person who has reached adulthood, not a man, okay, a boy who has reached adulthood. Is it okay to establish a foster relationship? And the Prophet ﷺ told the woman that give her, give him your milk. Okay, that's the report I attribute to Aisha. Wait, okay, wait. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. It's the wrong translation. We know. In Arabic, it doesn't say that. In Arabic, it doesn't say that. Okay. I'll read it. No, in, in, you're going to read it in English. Read it Arabic. Read Arabic. I know Arabic. I know Arabic. I know Arabic. Okay, bring Arabic. So why don't we read Arabic? Why are you reading English? Uh, do you do that to your car? As well, you don't. Right? Uncle, you don't. Uncle, to be okay. Muslim, it's not a criteria. You, to be a you are the, the you are the last person to talk about suckling when you have a report that Abu Talib is suckling the Prophet It's not Sahih you know, Kafi. It's, it's, it's not Sahih Kafi. The, which is which one is Sahih Kafi then? There is no Sahih Kafi. The criteria. There is, is no Sahih Kafi. Look at every hadith and compare it with the Quran. If it does not match Quran, throw it at the wall. The problem is throw a lot of a lot of people they're yes. going to get frustrated because I continue to indulge in these intricate topics with this brother. He's young. 
is clearly not, I'm not undermining him, I'm not, I'm not degrading him. He's a beautiful brother. May Allah guide him, may Allah preserve him. May Allah guide him to the truth. I actually feel for him. I don't, I, don't, I mean, I mean, you know, I don't want him to go to hellfire believing in these things. I don't, okay. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. May Allah guide me. Seeking and so far what I've read in Shia sources is not, I'm not impressed. I mean, breastfeeding grown men is... So okay. So, okay. Anna Aisha da radiallahu anha. Okay, are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. Akhbaratha Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Prophet told her. Yeah. Kana indaha wa innaha sami'at sawta rajulin yasta'dhinu. في بيت حفصة قالت عائشة فقلت يا رسول الله هذا رجل يستأذن في بيتك فقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أراه فلانا أوكي لعمي حفصة في من الرضاع أوكي فقالت عائشة يا رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لو كان فلان حيا أوكي لعمها من الرضاع دخل على قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم دخل علي قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم نعم in the Rida'a to harrimu ma to harrimu al wilada. Okay, so now read the English translation. Okay, where is this? Um, so it's on top, it's on top, yeah. right? Allah's Messenger, He is the person who seeks permission to enter your house. Whereupon Allah's Messenger said, I think He is so and so, Uncle of Hafsa by reason of uh, fostering. Okay, wait. Aisha said, Messenger of Allah, if so and so, her uncle by reason of uh, fostering were alive. Could he enter my house? Allah's Messenger said, yes. Okay. Fostrage makes unlawful what is... Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, so, yeah. So, is this, yeah. this is not the report. This is yeah. not the report. This is in their book, brother. Yeah, look. Sayyat al Mirza, volume one. What's the ruling of a man drinking his wife's milk or another man drinking her milk also? There is no problem in doing so. What book is that? It's in the old book. book. Is that? What book is that? Is it a Shia book? Which one? Which, which one? Which one? Sirat al Najm. Sorry, this is the one, yeah? Yeah, but it's not Sahih. It's not Sahih. It's not I'll, I'll, have to it's I'll, I'll have to check on that. I don't, don't want to use... Bad, I don't want to time. Yeah, this is the report, the wrong report. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let me read this report. I see on the face of Abu Hudayfa on uh, entering of Salem. I'm entering Salem into our house where Allah's apostle Alayhi said, suckle him. She said, how can I suckle him as he is a grown up man? Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi smiled and said, I already know that he is a young man. Amr has made this addition in his narration and he participated in the Battle of Badr and in the narration of Ibn Umar. Um, the words are Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, so which word is for, used for suckling in Arabic, you know? Yeah. Which one? So they said the Prophet encouraged the suckling of a grown man who's participated in battle. Because you can't be a child. This is the word for suckling. Okay. Okay. Ardi'ihi. Okay. Ardi'ihi. Okay. Sorry? No, it's not. You speak Arabic, bro. Okay. Yeah. Can no. you understand Arabic? Okay. So the report I word, uh, I read before, what was the word used there for? The same word in Arabic. Fostering. Fostering. Okay. So here, the translation is saying suckling. In that report, the one I read earlier from his phone, from the same source, it says fostering. Okay. Fostering Arabic? means... Same word. Same word. Okay. Rida. Rida. The word. Okay. Go. Bring. Bring up the same hadith. No, that, that hadith okay. is irrelevant. That hadith no, no, no. It's relevant. I'll tell you how it's relevant. Right. The same Arabic word is used in that hadith, and okay. see how they translate it. Okay. Okay. Wait. 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 This is your phone. I you took it out. It's not my phone. Wait, brother. Brother. You're, you're, you're again going on a yeah, jump. Okay. Go back to the same hadith. The earlier one. I got, got my you remember the word ardhihi? Yeah. Okay. Now that's the report. That report, bring out that same report. You know Arabic, right? Okay. What's the word for fostering in Arabic? String? Fostering. Giving milk. Yeah, breastfeeding. Um, bro, you say you go, uh, okay. you, uh, you're against it. A woman breastfeeding a man. A grown man, yeah. yeah no, no, no. It's not It's not breastfeeding. It's about giving milk. Okay. Yeah. Giving milk, not breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is basically something different to actually giving milk. Okay. 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 Now. You, you can read Arabic, yeah? Min al ridaati The word ardi'ihi and rida'a, is it the same root word? No. It's not? You don't know Arabic, do you? I do know Arabic, I'm Arabic. Okay, so ardi'ihi and rida'a, you don't see any... Uh, no, it's, it's, 
It's the same yeah, word. Same word. You same word. Rocky, now you're saying it's the same word. Okay. Boy, full of rocky, wait, 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 wait. Full he's, he's, so it's the same word? Yeah. Okay. Yes, now, how did they translate the word there? Fostridge. Fostridge. Yeah. Okay. So it's not suckling. Same source, his phone, he took it out. I didn't translate okay, it. Okay. okay. So now, well, the point. What is the point? The point is the Shia deliberately. You know, like the Christian missionaries, stand back, stand back now. I mean, I, I'm not blaming you for this. Of course. I'm not, I'm, people who are teaching you, okay, people who are teaching you, they do this to you. They embarrass you. Not, 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 if you were to study yourself yeah. in depth, okay. okay, just because your mother is Shia, you don't have to die Shia. You no, don't have course, to die course, Shia, okay? You can, you, your mother can be wrong. Your mother can be wrong, right? Now, the, the reason why this happens is the Christian missionaries, they go, sorry, the Christian masses, they go to the missionaries, the missionaries misguide them, they spin our sources, they mistranslate our sources, deliberately putting a very evil spin on our sources and make it look worse than it is, right? Here, the term rida in Arabic means to give milk to a child, right? Whether you breastfeed or you can give milk by pouring it in a pot, like we have those uh, suckers, you know, like these uh, women, breastfeeding women use, they, they have feeders and they take out the milk and they give the, ch the milk uh, to a child in a feeder. So that's what he's talking about. The Prophet laughed in that report because the Prophet ﷺ knew that this is absurd. That's why the woman, when she mentioned that Ya Rasulullah is a grown person, right? How do I do that? The Prophet smiled, he laughed. He said, yes, I know he's a grown person. So when you go to the Hadith commentaries, the ulama explained that he meant pour it in a pot and give it to him to drink so that you can establish a foster relationship with him. That's what the Prophet, wait, 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 wait. I just showed you from your own translations that's what that's what is it, it is that's what's the meaning is that's what the meaning is okay what is meant here is foster foster relationship fostering right fostering means that you become a foster brother or foster sister having been uh, uh, given milk to someone so what the prophet in that very report the indication is there when she the woman said ya rasulullah he's he's a grown person and the prophet laughed he laughed because he said because he also, Prophet said, I know he's a grown person, right? So there's nothing wrong with that report. You, the Shia, or those Shia, those Shia who do, they deliberately put the spin on it to impose a meaning on it, which is not there. Simple. So now he wasted a lot of my time on this. He wasted a lot of my time. That's what happens. When I discuss with Shia friends, I tell them, please stick to the topic because you're going to hop from point to point. The reason why, we, why are we discussing this hadith? Because the, he has a problem with Aisha. He has a child, he's a 22 years old. Yes. He as a child has been brainwashed into hating Aisha hate so Aisha. much. I no, you, no you, you don't hate her, but you equate her with the wife of no. No, Allah does. In Surah no, Allah does not do that. Allah, Allah does not do that. How? Okay, Allah's why did the... Faulted. Then can you ask, answer my question? Aisha's heart falter. Okay, Aisha wait, heart wait, falter. wait, 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 Surah Tahrim, Surah Tahrim. wait, wait. Allah says... I have I have a question. Is, is, the, is the Prophet, Allah says it. brother, yeah, go on, go is on. the Prophet known to have divorced Aisha? No, the Prophet in his lifetime did not divorce Aisha. Okay. Did he die with Aisha? Because he's buried in her house. You can't deny that. He was buried in the in the house of Aisha. Yeah. Yeah, he's buried. He's, he's buried. buried. Okay, he's why buried is he buried now? Why is he buried in that house? Because because he died there. He died there. Okay. Okay. Why did he choose? When the Prophet was Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was alive, okay. He was taken to the member. Yeah. Yeah. Three days before he passed away okay. on Thursday. Yeah. He passed away on Thursday. Okay. Uh, sorry, he passed away on Monday. He passed away on Monday. And calamity on th of Thursday. Yeah. That's Cal another topic. Yeah. For you. Yeah. Cal calamity for you. Google it. Calamity Google for you. This. Calamity, calamity for you. Thursday. Wait, wait. Now you're opening another, opening another can of worms. You know and you're gonna, you're gonna calamity again, brother. You're opening another can know, of worms, know, and you're not gonna like my response. And I'm you're just gonna... telling the viewers, look into it, make Don't. your own minds up. Okay. It's a, okay. Now, look. He's done this. Now I'm going well, to go into the... No, 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 I have to. You, any, anything you're going to mention, I'm going to deal with it. Calamity of Thursday. Why is it a calamity? Why is it a calamity? Because the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said to Umar, give me... A this is what brainwashing does. It's in your hadith though. Already in your hadith. Again, you're going to read my, my hadith and then you're going to see that there's a problem in your understanding of my hadith. Okay, for example, now, why is it a calamity? Why is it a calamity? Quickly explain, before you read the hadith. Hadith of the pen and paper, Rasulullah said he wanted to issue a statement before his death, but he's prevented doing so. Prevented? Yes. How? 
Well, it says it here. How can you prevent the Prophet? You didn't give him a pen and paper. Okay. The Rasulullah okay. asked for a pen and paper. He said, I will okay. write down something okay. for you which will okay. never go astray. What? what? And he will give okay. him a pen and paper. Okay. Okay, it. now, 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 good, 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 very good. What were, what, what do you think was he, was he going to write? What was he going to write? Mm. Well, Allahu a minute. No, 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 no. But they, okay. what was he going wait, to write? Wait. What was he going to write? Brother, wait, Someone, stay with me, okay, stay with okay, me, stay okay, with what me. What was he going to write? Allah knows best. Allah knows best. You don't know. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. But, okay, but now, but, but I can, I, 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 I can claim I know. I can, I can claim I know. How can you claim? I can claim. Okay. Was it? Something important for the Ummah. Of course, it would have been. So it was from Allah. Anything wait. from the Prophet is from okay, Allah. Okay, wait. It was okay. Good. Brilliant. We're getting somewhere. Okay. We're getting somewhere. Wait, wait, Allah. wait. What does Allah tell him in the Quran? What does Allah tell the Prophet in the Quran? Hmm. About the message. Convey to the people. Convey to the people. Convey to the people. Okay. Balig ma unzila ilayk. Deliver what has been revealed upon you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now. Allah, this, this is my wording, yeah? Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed upon the Prophet and Allah commanded him to deliver. Now, if it was something important, it is compulsory. It is obligatory upon the Prophet to deliver. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Did the Prophet deliver? On the calendar of Thursday? Yeah. He wasn't allowed to. He wasn't given okay. a penalty. But did he deliver after that? Did he deliver after yeah. that? Did yeah. he deliver what exactly? A message? Yeah. You know exactly what I'm talking about. You know. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Did he deliver what he was about to deliver? Even he was prevented. Did he deliver? He was prevented. He was prevented. Was prevented. But did he deliver? He delivered the message. How? But still, it doesn't matter. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. I made it very clear. You and I agreed that it was something very important. Okay. It was from Allah. And if from Allah, it was his obligation to deliver. If he does not deliver, he fails to deliver. In that case, no, he hasn't failed his job. Sir. Oh, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. That's what that, that your understanding leads us to that uh, that conclusion. Your understanding leads to that conclusion, not mine. So I am saying he was not prevented, and he delivered. How? The Prophet ﷺ was about to write a piece of advice, which he couldn't. He lived for another three days. He died on Monday, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So this was the incident of the calamity of Thursday. Okay, the calamity of Thursday, right? Okay, then what happens? The Prophet, before he dies, he's taken on the member. And then on the member, he delivers the statement he was going to deliver on paper. What was that state, statement? Allahul Yahud wan Nasara Kubura Masajid. Something of very powerful advice for the Shias in particular, before anyone else. Okay. These are the words of the Prophet. Don't kill the messenger. Don't blame me for this. The Prophet said, these were, the, these were his words. That may Allah's curse be upon the Yahud and Nasara. Why? Because they build masajid on top of their graves. This was the advice which he was going to give on paper, which he did verbally on the member between Thursday and Monday. So because, he was taken, because, because he was taken to the member. But if we follow your understanding, that what he was about to write was not delivered, then he failed to deliver something very important, which was commanded, which was commanded by Allah. And in that case, the Prophet ﷺ stands in a controversial position, which is absolutely erroneous and absurd. Now you are in a big problem. No, big you are in a big so dilemma. Stop okay, and, and, and uh, okay, no, no, forget Umar. Umar is out of the question. Forget, forget Umar. Forget, I, I'm, I, have, I have no concern with Umar at this stage, in this point. I am talking about the Prophet who received the message. You are claiming he was prevented. Allah is telling him, don't hold back. When I reveal, you deliver. When I reveal, you deliver. You already agreed that something came from Allah and the Prophet did not deliver because he was prevented. Can the Prophet be prevented, number one? No. Number two, okay, if he can be prevented, then everything is doubtful. No, we don't know. We don't know if the message speak, is complete. He asked for a pen and okay, paper. so the prophet cannot be prevented. No, he was Do you agree? To speak, he asked for okay, a wait, wait. Paper. Can the prophet be prevented from delivering the message? Can he? Can he verbally be pre prevented? No, 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 no. Anyhow, anyhow, can the prophet be prevented from delivering the message? Everything the prophet of Allah says, 
comes from the heavens, yeah. comes from Allah. Yeah. He cannot be prevented. Good. But, but, Good. But, so why is Umar guilty? <laughs> because Umar if, said, don't give him a pen the, of paper. No, no. The if, the, asked for a if the prophet... If the prophet asks you to jump, will you jump? Just say if you are alive in that ab, time. I'm ha, just saying. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just 100%, how high? 100%. So if the prophet, the greatest creation of Allah, Azawajal, says, give me a pen and paper. Yeah. Why do you say, no, no, the book of Allah okay. is not for us. Everything now, the prophet comes now, just from Allah, now, no? Now I have another question. I have another question now. He said, the prophet asked me to jump, I would jump. Well, well, if the prophet asked me to jump, I would jump. Ali bin Abi Talib, writing the treaty of Hudaybiyah, uh, uh, the Sufiyah. prophet tells him, the prophet tells him to cross out, listen, the Prophet tells him to cross out Rasulullah. Why? Because Suhail bin Amr, he said, we don't accept you as Rasulullah. We know you as Muhammad. We don't know you as uh, Rasulullah. So we, so the Prophet said, cross it. Wait, okay. wait. Okay. The Prophet said, cross it out. What did Ali say? Now answer my question instead of going, okay, going on a on. tangent. Answer my question. What did Ali say? You tell me. You don't know? No, you tell me. Please. No, you don't. Do you know? Or you no, don't. No, you tell me. I don't know. You don't know. Ali I don't said. Know about the Ali said. Ali said. The... Ya Rasulullah, I will not cross it. Okay. Okay. Wait. The Prophet said, cross it, and he said, Wallahi, I will not cross it. So the Prophet commanded him, and he did not cross it. You can go and confirm. You can go and confirm. This is in our reports and your reports. Now the response, the Shias, what the Shi this out of his love for the Prophet, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, <laughs> Ali refused to do what the Prophet was commanding because he loves the Prophet so much, he cannot cross out the true title, the true title of the Prophet which he is deserving of, he cannot come. And we agree with that. We agree, guess what? We the Ahl Sunnah, we agree with that uh, interpretation of the Shias, absolutely out of Ali's love. So we say to the same, we tell them, why don't you extend this uh, privilege to Umar, to Umar out of his love, out of his love for the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Wait, wait, let me, out of it. Because Omar, what did he say? In that very report, which they don't read carefully, Omar said the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is ill. He's ill. He's, he's, Ill. Ill. he's weak. Okay. Don't pain him. If Omar had an agenda, he would have tried to, Summa Na'udhu he would have tried to kill the Prophet that same night that he's about to declare something very big and we, we're gonna all going to be cornered now. We're going to, something is about to come. Kill him. Okay. But they keep him alive for another three days and then take him on the member. They take the risk of taking him to the member where he makes the statement which I mentioned earlier. And that statement amazingly applies to the Shia, Shias around the world who have built masajid on top of the graves of the Imams. Every single Imam's grave. You been to some of them? Yes. I'm have you Iran been? Brother. You haven't been? Yes. You, you have, have you been I'm to Mash? Yes. You're from Iran? There's many. Mashhad? Yes. Mashad. Yeah. There's Qom. Many. There's Qom. 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 Okay. Uh, Najaf? Yes. Najaf. What do we have? The grave of the Imam and a big giant masjid on top. Yes. Okay. So and, and the Prophet said. It's a okay. to No, 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 we don't have that in Medina. No, no. The Prophet's grave is not inside the masjid. That house of Aisha was never part of the masjid. And it is to this day not part of the masjid. That, no, 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 no. The, the masjid of the Prophet, brother, I have been there many times. I've been there, I prayed there, okay? The masjid of the Prophet was right next to the house of Aisha. Okay, the Masjid of the Prophet was the dark green carpet. When you go to Masjid al-Nabuvi today, you see that dark green carpet. That's the part which was the Masjid but of the Prophet it's Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. within Masjid complex. No, it's, it's, it's the complex, but it's not part of the Masjid. This day, that Hujra of Aisha anha is not part of the Masjid. It's not Masjid al-Nabuvi. It's not regarded as Masjid al-Nabuvi. So that's why they built around it. They built around it. They put walls. The it's, it's, it's inside it the complex. Yes. yes. So technically, no, no, nothing wrong with it. No, 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 no. There is something wrong with it. You cannot, you cannot build. Uh, listen to me carefully. Wait, 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 wait. wait. We, you cannot build masajid on graves. Remember that. You cannot build a masjid on a grave. It is haram to do that. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Mean, you you can't have a... Listen to the words of Rasulullah. La'anallah al-Yahud wa'n-Nasara ittakhadu qubura anbiya'ihim masajid. You translate that now. But there is a masjid you, in you Medina. No, 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 no. Uh, and the Prophet is great. The hujra of Aisha was never part of the masjid. Never. Never part of the masjid. Oh, oh, they are buried in hujra. 
they are, but the it's, they are, they are not in the masjid they're not in this is not part of the masjid that's not part of the masjid it's a separate space it's a separate space sorry no how can he be buried in the masjid when he's himself on the member is saying that any one of you why is he telling us why is he same sources we've been quite quoting you. You've been pulling out all. Nah, the, I'm telling your sources. Are they yeah. contradict each other and vilify the prophet? I'm coming right now. Okay. 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 So, brothers and sisters, salam alaikum wa rahmatullah. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin wa akhiru da'wan. Alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Okay. May Allah guide all of you, my brothers and sisters, all of you listening around. May Allah guide and make dua for this this beautiful young man. Okay. I'm going to the path of Ali Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. I'm already on the path of Ali Muhammad. Okay. Muhammad. Okay. Pray. Not pray to Ali, no. No, no, pray no. To, to, to the, to the Muslim. To the Muslim. No, in that. He, he, he asked me, he asked me a question. That can we go to Najaf? No, 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 no. Wait, can we go to Karbala? If, if the, if the grave, if the grave was there first and a masjid was built on top of it, no, you cannot pray in it. No. If the grave was made first and then a masjid came on top of it because of the grave, you can, because the masjid was made uh, due to the grave, you cannot pray in that so called masjid. It's not a masjid. It's not a masjid. Why, why, I'm asking you, why did the Prophet make this statement and who was he making this statement to? He was making this statement to his companions, his people, his followers. Don't do that to me. Because those did this, Allah has cursed them. Don't do that to me. Don't bury me and make a masjid on top of my grave. And the Prophet's grave is to this day not part of the masjid. It's, the it's not. It's, it's Hujra. It's Hujra. It's the Hujra of Aisha. It's called Hujra of Aisha. It's a holy place. Huh? It's a holy place. Oh, 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 it's absolutely. The, 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 the messenger of Allah is buried there. But how do we, we have etiquettes. We have etiquettes. When we go there, we say salam to Rasulullah. We say assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum ya Rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum ya Abu Bakr. Assalamu alaikum ya Umar. Okay, this is what we do, right? Because they are both buried with him. Now, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can. No problem. Oh, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Okay, brothers. Yeah.